Hi everyone and welcome back to Tech Bytes Tips and Resources for Educators. My name is Ryan Casey and today I want to show you a really cool resource that you can share with all of your teachers, especially those who are teaching virtual or uh, remotely to students. And it's a website called TeacherMade. And basically what this website does is it allows you to digitize all of your hard copy handouts or worksheets so that they can become uh, fillable or students can annotate them right online and submit them. So you don't have to redesign things from scratch in a Google form or uh, make some sort of really complex hyperdoc. You can just upload that hard copy, uh, add some editable uh, areas to it, and they can either be open-ended and students respond and you would manually read those and manually grade them, or TeacherMade can actually grade them as well as long as you mark what's right or wrong. So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, most importantly, it's free. It's a really cool resource. Let's check it out. Okay, so I am at the teachermade.com website and I set up a free account. Um, I was able to log in and set that up just using the Google option, so it only took a couple seconds. Uh, as you can see, I already have a few worksheets created and I'll come back to these in a few moments. I want to jump right in and just show you how easy it is to digitize that handout or that worksheet. So I'm going to click on Create Worksheet. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to do one on the scientific method. I can give it a description if I want. And finally, um, as the background they call it, that is going to really be the worksheet that you're going to upload. So I'm going to click in this gray box to look for my worksheet. Um, this can be a PDF. It can be a PNG or JPEG. In other words, an image file. Um, I do not believe it can do like a, a Microsoft Word file. So you will want to make sure that you convert that to a PDF or image file beforehand. Otherwise, I'm going to upload my worksheet. I can see it listed there. I will hit Create. And now it's going to take me to a screen where I can begin um, making this interactive. I can start marking the different spots that I want students to input something or edit a section of the worksheet. So as you do this, remember these can be either graded or not graded or scored. I, for this example, because it's really multiple choice, they have to go through and read each sentence stem and identify what part of the scientific method um, it's talking about. And they have to enter one of these letters, the Q, H, E, D, or C. So this would be pretty easy for um, teacher made to score it because I can set what the correct answer is. Um, if you want it to be open-ended and you want to, it's something more like a paragraph or a free response, you can mark that as well. And then you would just manually grade that, of course, when it comes through the system and you're, it's flagged that a student has submitted it. So in this case, I'm going to mark um, on these little lines here what the correct answer is where a student would type in a letter. So you'll notice you have a, like a formatting toolbar up here, similar to what you would see in Google Forms or maybe Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Uh, I'm going to have them input a short answer. So for this first one, I'm going to draw the square there. That's where I want them to enter their letter. And I can go up to this blue box that says Edit Short Answer. And I can decide how many points do I want this to be. What is the correct answer? In this case, I believe it is E, Describe an Experiment. Uh, there could be more than one correct answer if you want to list multiple ones down. And it is important to watch this box down here where it says answers must match the case upper or lower to be correct. If that is important to you, then you would check the box. If it doesn't matter, leave it unchecked. So I will hit save changes. So I'm going to go through. Now I can see what the correct answer is. Students will not see that. When they see their uh, assignment version, it'll just be a blank square. That is obvious. They have to click in and type something. I'm going to go through and add a few more of these. And then I will show you what it looks like when this is all done and how easy it is to send to students and what it looks like when they actually fill it out. So I'll go through that and uh, we'll take a look at the next step. Okay, so I'm done um, editing the worksheet. It's ready to go. I want to assign it now to my students. So I'm going to close out of the worksheet. And it's going to take me to this little worksheet dashboard. I can see when I last modified it. Um, at any time, if I want to go through under Actions, I can go back in and I can edit the content, change some of the properties like the title. 
Um, I can actually share this with um, other teachers or staff with a unique link if they have a teacher account on TeacherMade so they can use the worksheet. Um, otherwise, I can delete it or I can assign it. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it. So I will turn it into an assignment. And now added the word assignment to it because it's going to get pushed out live. Um, what's neat is you can choose how you want students to sign in um, to actually uh, submit and enter their work. So uh, they can use it by using their name or a special ID you want them to use. If you are a Google school, what's cool is you can verify it and have them log in clicking that you know Google sign in button. Um, if you want to provide a list of names, um, you have to semer, uh, separate them one per line. So you might have to enter a lot, but you can type in the actual name um, that would be required to validate for them to fill it out. Um, you can have them show a score and what their answers were, or the score and the correct answers. Um, how do you want the score to be pl uh, displayed? Um, and then there's this option where you can hide a toolbar from the student. So usually when they see a worksheet, and we will see this from the student in, they can um, draw on it, annotate, add text boxes, add shapes. So depending on what type of worksheet you have and what you want them to be able to do, you may want to turn that on or off. Otherwise, I think this looks good. I'm going to hit Create Assignment. And now I have a, a link or a URL that I can um, send out, email out, post on my Weebly site, share to my Google Classroom. And that is the link that students will click on when they begin filling this out, which is what we are going to do next. So now a student will click on that link or copy and paste that link into a browser, and that'll take them to the start of the assignment. And the first thing it's going to do is ask them for their name or their ID that the teacher wants them to use. Remember, I did say that if you're a Google school and your students have Google accounts, they can simply click that button. In this case, we're just going to edit the uh, enter the student name and type it in and hit start. So now here is the same worksheet that we just created. You'll see again all of the little tech boxes. That tells me that as a student I have to enter something there. Um, this was the toolbar that I was talking about earlier if you want this hidden or not. So some of these worksheets you can make very interactive by having them match things and draw lines. Maybe they have to color different items in. Maybe they have to underline parts of a, of a sentence or a word. So they do have some of these um, uh, tools that allow them to do that. But in this case, they just have to go through and enter some uh, answers. So I'm going to go through and see which ones I get right, which ones I don't. They would enter all of those in and then notice down here at the very bottom corner they can save it for later or they can click I'm done. So they're going to finish it. They're going to hit I'm done. I can see by the way it's marked. Again, we said we were going to display it this way, which ones were correct and which ones were incorrect. And I can see what the correct answer was by holding my mouse over that. So now uh, the student submitted it. Let's go back and see what the teacher will see once uh, an assignment has been completed. So back in my teacher account, again, I can see my worksheets at any time. I want to check on progress. So for example, scientific method worksheet, I'm going to click on that. I can see that, oh, it looks like we did have somebody start and complete this assignment. So I'm going to click on this specific uh, worksheet. I can see the name of the student. I can see their score when it was submitted. So I can click on this to see exactly what they put down. Um, if I want to override their score, I can. I can. Um, if I want to leave a comment, I can do that. Notice my comment was saved. Um, and then if I want to return my comment to that student, I can do that and I can hit return to student. Maybe I want to print this off for some reason. Otherwise, I can close out. I do have some additional actions as well. So if I want to go back and review this, if I want to reopen it, maybe I want to give the student a chance to you know, have some mastery uh, here. They get maybe a couple of different attempts to try again. I can do that or I can delete it. So uh, it's really cool because you get to see the data. Um, and again, you have the option to have them submit it again, which is, which is really cool. So now I'm going to switch and just show you some different types of examples of worksheets that you can use with TeacherMade. 
So here are a few more examples of how you can use TeacherMade to digitize your worksheets. Again, if you just kind of look at what some of your options are in that toolbar in regard to um, the type of answers you can request from them, whether true and false or matching or multiple choice, um, or what are some of the tools that students can use to annotate their worksheet. So for example, here's an elementary math uh, basic subtraction. They used the um, circle tool to fill in different colors to show which subtraction equaled 7, 8, or 9. Here's another example, again, using a circle tool on a graph to um, uh, put some different plots on, on, on a chart. Right, so there are the ordered pairs and they had to document that. And again, I can give them a score, comment, return the assignment to them. Knowing directions. And here's a good example of one in which um, uh, they can do uppercase or lowercase unless you want that to be specific. And again, here's one from a student in where they had to draw their, their images using the little draw tool. So um, a lot of different choices on TeacherMade. Uh, it's just teachermade.com if you want to check it out. Again, free. You can sign up with Google and it's a great um, way to engage students, um, especially those who are virtually or remote. So I hope you check it out. If you like this and other TechBite videos, make sure you go to massp.com or our YouTube channel at youtube.com uh, slash massp and subscribe and you can be notified of any new video like this that we put online. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.